What's going on guys, Dylan DeJesus here, back at it again with another episode of Guessing the Price of Customs Sneakers. So this time around, we opened up, all of the submissions came directly from you guys, our viewers. Jason went ahead and sorted through a ton of submissions, so thank you guys for sending those in. I haven't seen any of these, so all of this is totally off the cuff and we're gonna have a lot of fun in today's episode. So let's go ahead and get things started. All right, cool. So we got basically a Monopoly themed pair of Air Forces. This is kind of actually a time where painting on the midsole is gonna work too, because even if some of this wears off over time, it's still gonna blend in with the rest because it's not a solid color. So, you know, we're not gonna give anything for painting the midsoles here, but again, uh, you know, $100 base shoe. I'm gonna say they are, ah, man. 250? 130. 130? $30 for all of that work? No way. No way. Come on. Time to raise those prices. All right. The this picture. 12 year old. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, the 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 framing and in, in the uh, the concept to try to get that floating shoe, phenomenal. The the shoe is a little blurry. You could tell that it's a little photoshopped, but the concept here, absolutely phenomenal. For a 12 year old, I wasn't doing this type of, I, I wasn't thinking uh, like this as a 12 year old. So, so major props to you. Um, the potential is there for, for what these could be. You know, the drip swoosh, you know, some, uh, some of that kind of cartoon work where you outline the different panels, $100 shoe. I think because he's a 12 year old, he's probably selling them a little bit lower than he could be. So I'm gonna say that he has these listed for 175. Dude, it's literally 175. Oh, <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> keep working, my man, keep working. Oh, heck yeah. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is, uh, this is also, I'm sure you'd even agree with this, Jason. This is a great time where just let the artwork do the talking. Simple white background, don't need nothing else. Uh, you know, the two different uh, posty, whether, you know, you wanna call them portraits. One of them's a little bit more of in like an original kind of cartoony style, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Vans, $50, $60 shoe. <sighs> you know, they're, the talent is here, so you could be selling these more for, for what I'm gonna say you're, you're probably selling them for. I'm gonna say they have these listed for 165. 380. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Hey, you know, this is tremendous work and uh, a lot of time definitely goes into these. And I mean, look at the likeness, look at the hair of uh, of Post. I mean, that that's crazy. You can actually uh, almost feel like you would be able to touch his, his frizzy ass hair, so great stuff. Okay, the Gucci print. The Gucci print on the swoosh and the toe box. Um, we got some nice depth of field in this photo. Um, let's see. You know, since it's the designer print, typically, you know, people just associate that with with higher end prices and stuff. So I'm gonna quote these at 325. 120. 120 to do Gucci print on uh, the swoosh and toe box. The the stencils alone cost more than that. My goodness, and I mean, it looks clean. I zoom in here, like the G pattern looks good, all of that little dot work. Whew, come on, we gotta raise those prices real quick for something like this. Oh man, this is so dope. This is so dope, I love this. So they removed the swoosh too, and it's clean. Like, it is clean. And what I really like about that is here, where I'm just looking at the Frieza shoe, it looks like the other shoe that uh, I can't fully see right now, but it looks like it's a uh, Goku riding uh, that wave. Uh, I can't I can't think of the name of that wave right now. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched Dragon Ball. But, um, you know, removing the swoosh, it gives you less panels to be working directly across. Otherwise, you're stretching a character over, you know, three or four different surfaces. So it was really smart here. Um, I'm gonna say that these are probably listed at, again, $100 base shoe, a lot of Air Forces in this episode, but I'm gonna say these, oh, I didn't even realize, look at that, they have the rocks. So it looks like they cut up the swoosh. Dang, that took me a wild catch, I'm glad I did. Really cool to not just remove the swoosh and throw it away. <laughs> they actually painted the swoosh to be, you know, the rocks that's exploding around Frieza. Damn, these are dope. 
Um, these gotta be at, at 285. 215. 215? 215? Yeah. More than that, more than that. Come on, let's raise them. Let's raise them. Oh man, that is crispy. Look at that line work. I wonder if they used a stencil for that or if that was all done by hand. That is crispy. Wow. I love, I love the very, very, very subtle change in colors from panel to panel. So we have, you know, three or four different hues of this orange and it's subtle. Damn, these are dope. Okay, so again, you know, Air Max is gonna be around a hundred dollar shoe. Cool picture too. I always love a good on foot shot, um, and it works good with the with the blue sky background. Obviously, you know, blue and orange being complementary colors. Uh, okay, price wise, these I'm going to say are at three fifteen. Two twenty six. Two twenty six. A hundred twenty five dollars for all of that. No way. No way. We got to raise those. The the claws. The the cleanliness of this line work here is. For real, I zoom in on these panels, you know, where all of the different edges meet of these different hues of orange, and these are crispy. Great work. Oh, Arizona. <laughs> I love it, I love it. They got the uh, they got the can next to it too. Okay, so Vans, you know, $50 shoe. Um, these were done, obviously, you can kind of see a little bit more towards the uh, very front of the shoe that this was actually on the uh, checkered pair of Vans. So I'm gonna say they got these listed at 125? $50. 50, the shoe costs $50. No way, no, I mean, I mean, the, 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 there's, there's at least, at least four to six hours of artwork into here. So these cannot be listed at $50. Come on, raise them up, raise them up. Okay, okay, all right, these are dope. Man, do I love this base shoe. This base shoe does not get enough love. This is a shoe that I definitely wanna do a lot more stuff on. Just look at how it's built and the way that all these different, the way that you can play with these panels here. I know that we did a pair of uh, Kids See Ghost Continental 80s, and here again, we have another artist uh, artwork on here. We have uh, Cobain on one, and then the album cover with the, with the baby on the other. Super dope. I love these, man. Um, so this base shoe, it's pretty cheap too. I mean, you can pick these up. Sometimes they're on sale for like 40, 50 bucks, but I think the shoe might retail for, you know, around 80 or something like that. Um, I like the photo set here too. The the grittiness of, uh, you know, that that flooring, that, that panel behind it. Um, okay, so these are, these have to be, have to be listed have to be listed at minimum 400. Yeah, 550. 550, okay, yep, yep. Man, all the time that goes into that album artwork and, and the likeness of that baby swimming underwater, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I undershot these and these are uh, going for even more than that. Great work. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Guessing the Price of Custom Sneakers. This was a fun one. I always have a lot of fun doing these. It's always cool to see what other artists price their own custom shoes at. Pricing is extremely hard to do and it's something that we get questions on every day. So we do have a really good video that we put out on, you know, kind of how to come up with your own price for your custom sneakers. We'll throw a little card up here on the screen. But thank you guys so much for joining us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed playing along and guessing the price of these two. If you guys are interested in being featured on a future episode, go ahead and send your submissions to jason at jesusinc.com and that's where we select all of them from. So thank you guys again. Go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys in that next video.